potential. So graven potential versus action potential. Do you understand? Yes. That is. Cool. Mostly. <laughs> cool. The grave potential is what happens before it hits the um, threshold. Action potential is what happens after it hits the threshold. Okay. So action is after the threshold. Gradient. Gradient is before the, the threshold. So like with the little waves, they can be different heights, but once it hits the threshold, threshold then it's, like it's all, all the way. Because I saw the graph. But. So, so real quick, because I think this will, I don't know, it helped me understand when I was a, when I um, was in a class, understand it better, to know it at a slightly more in-depth level. Okay. So I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to bury you in anything, but, so do you know what this is? It's a neuron. It's a neuron, okay. General definitions, what are these little things coming out? Dendrites. Dendrites. Soma. Soma. Axon. Axon. This is the axon hillock, just so you know. Yeah. Um, axon, axon hillock. You can do mileage sheets and that is whatever. Yeah. An axon terminal. Okay. In the dendrites, so all the way until the axon hillock, mm -hmm. that's where graded potentials happen. Okay. Action potentials happen after that point. Okay. Meaning. There is thresh there is a threshold here, but there is not a threshold here. Okay. Okay. So So you just don't have the um, voltage gated channels necessary to make it an actual um, threshold. That's basically what to mean? cause the domino effect. Yeah. Okay. So that's There's a lot more leak channels out here than yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to bear you out in the details of why and whatnot. Yeah. We're okay. not going to make you late for anything, are we? No. Your appointment goes till 2.15. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it does, doesn't mm -hmm. it? <gasps> but they had a 2 o'clock class, so they had to that take That makes off. me happy. Okay, because I was like, oh, 2 o'clock, crap, we got to get up. But yeah. uh, I don't nope. have anything. You're good. Sweet! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am more relaxed Okay, <laughs> so, so let's say a positive impulse comes in here and a positive impulse comes in here, okay? Okay. So they're going to meet up. So this guy is going to start to depolarize, right? Yes. And then the second one hits, depolarizes more. Yes. That <coughs> additive effect is called summation. Okay. Okay. So just the, the depolarization of multiple um, charges is summation, basically? So it's, is, is that correct? Yeah, you could you could think about it in quite a few different ways. You could think about two signals meeting up, two two, signals? Okay. two depolarization waves. Okay. Or two, one guy can let that lift as big as a table as two guys lifting a table. So mm -hmm. two charges going together. Oh, that's, yeah. that's a good one too. Okay. So it's two different impulses coming together, and there's an additive effect. Okay. Okay. So. Granted, this slowly does degrade over time. Yeah. But, but the effect. <coughs> Whereas, um, so a signal might not ever be sent from these two guys, because if it degrades all the way down here, before it gets to the axon hillock, where there's a threshold, no signal sent, because we're at like this point. Because it's fizzled out. Uh -huh. They need a little bit more. And so that's if we touch something super related that we don't feel or something like that. Or I don't know. I don't know. So it doesn't really do it's, it. So it doesn't really go past the threshold or the, the axon hillock because it's not needed. Kind of a thing? Um, so I'm still trying to wrap my mind. It's, it's such a small signal that a signal is not sent. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. But, say I have another impulse here. So it's. And so by the time it gets, by the time it gets all the way over here, it's going to be, um, or you could even say by the time it's here, it's down here, but then another guy comes and hits it. So that's the next one. Action potential. Because once you hit the threshold, action potential happens. And is that the second kind of, so there is the... Spatial, and there's the temporal yeah. and the combined. And so the those temporal. three so were... So the spatial is the first one you talked about. Temporal is where it starts going down, um, and the third one I, I So I, I've only talked about spatial. Uh, Okay. I okay. I, so real I quick, see. what when you think yeah. of spatial, what do you think? What comes to mind? Space. Space. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are different places. Uh, the signals 
-hmm. start at different points, and so there's spatial summation. Because they don't all get there at the same time. Uh, no, well, they come no. from different areas. Just yeah. where they're Just originating from. Space. Yeah, they're okay. Hand. Temporal. What does temporal mean? Time. Time, yeah, short. Um, not so, time, time, yeah. Time, and also you see it a lot as in like self type things. Like there's mm -hmm. things that are spiritual and things that are temporal. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So, if I just had this one signal, but I kept sending the signal on this one guy very quickly, okay, so, okay, okay, because I'm sending multiple signals on that same guy. Okay, so spatial is from different spaces, different one, points, different points, mm -hmm. and temporal is from the same point, just multiple times. Correct. Same effect, just different uh, ways. Can of, have same effect. Can have same effect. For example, in spatial <laughs> summation, I could do a negative like, oh, hyperpolarization oh, effect. Negative. So do you remember no. talking about IPSP and EPSP? Mm -hmm. Yes, and I wasn't so, really sure on what that was. So what is, do you remember what I stands for and what E stands for? Inhib In inhibitory, inhibitory, inhibitory and excitatory. And excitatory. Okay, <laughs> so an excitatory postsynaptic membrane potential Positive. or an inhibitory um, Postsynaptic potential. potential. Postsynaptic potential. Is it post but, oh, it is post because okay. it's yeah. negative. It, it's it inhibits on the other side of the before. Yeah. So pre, post, postsynaptic potential. Yeah. So it inhibits the post synapse, the other side of the synapse yeah. membrane's potential. So if you think of a muscle tissue, there's the presynaptic journal, uh -huh. terminal. There's the post sub sub the synaptic cleft. Or yeah, synaptic cleft, and then there's the post-synaptic membrane or muscle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if we're talking about neurons, that's just another. Yeah, it's so it's the same thing, just yeah. in a different Cell. spot in the body. Spot in the body. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, um, so it's an. Thank you for inhibitory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so inhibitory being a hyperpolarization. Mm -hmm. it so it. so it inhibitory. Post synaptic well, it makes it more negative, potential. so it cancels out some of the positive. Oh, okay, and that's why it's post synaptic because it yeah. is yeah. after the synapse. Oh, okay. Kay. So post, okay, got it. So this is still a spatial form of spatial summation. Granted, the adding together of something negative and positive either equals out or one can be stronger yeah. than the other, but you know what I mean. Yeah. But yeah. So, however, in temporal summation, the same thing isn't going to be like positive, negative, <laughs> positive, negative, you know. It's I mean? all going to be one. It's right? all going to be positive or, or going to be negative, but probably positive. Okay? Okay. Okay. Um, so this guy is going to be sending the same signal, you know, whereas someone else could send a different signal. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. So spatial and temporal summation. Then what is the last Combined. one? Combined. Combined? Yeah. Combine them. So yeah. it's just the positive and the negative. So, so the having a temporal one and then having another. Temporal, spatial. Inhibitory and excitatory. Yeah. Post synaptic yeah. potential. So it just has everything in it. It's, yeah. it's combined. It's both. It's a party. They're combined. Yeah. Combined, I wouldn't even say is one. You just have two. You have um, temporal and spatial. Or you can have temporal and spatial. Or okay. Both. So that's basically what combined is. It's just yes. temporal and spatial together. Yeah. Temporal and spatial combined. 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 <laughs> it's like they thought about that word. Oh, so my God. No, I don't know why. Everyone wants to do something right now. And then I, have, I have another question. Um, for a Schwann cell and a oligodendrocyte, uh -huh. how are they different? Is one inside the cell and one's outside the cell? Uh -huh. I'm not really sure the difference, or if they're even the same thing. So oligodendrocyte. They're not the same thing. Yeah, it, had, it covers multiple neurons. So that's just the difference, yeah, is that just one cells are just singular. one, and then oligodendrocytes. 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 I say oligo, some people say oligo. Oglio I think I'm Oglio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I say Oglio Okay, so it's just Oglio Okay, yeah. I can, I can see that now.
Okay, so um, oglio dendrocytes cover just the whole thing, and Schwann uh, cells are just no. So um, it's different neurons. The, See, what? that's confusing. That's right. Think about it this way: one is in the central nervous system, okay, yeah. and one is in the peripheral nervous system. That's what it was. The oglio dendrocytes are in the central Control. nervous system, whereas the Schwann cells okay. are in the peripheral okay. nervous system. They are the exact same thing in different yeah. places. Okay, yeah. that's what my question they was. Both, they both form myelin sheets. Oh, okay. That's, okay. that's the general principle. Yes, they do look okay. different, um, and they can have a different type of spread, but the overall thing is they both form myelin sheets. Just okay. one's for inside, one's for outside. Okay, that one's was my question. One's for the it central nervous the system, like my spinal cord yeah. and my brain, and then the other one's in my peripheral nervous system. Can you do that one more time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Are you all right? Action. Yes. So action potential, all or nothing. You either get an action. You either hit threshold or you didn't. Uh huh. Once an action potential occurs, it's going to be propagated all the way down. Yeah. Okay. It's Whereas a greater potential doesn't necessarily have to send that signal. Uh -huh. It's not necessarily all or nothing. I could get one signal that inhibits them, one that's excitatory and it cancels out and no signal sent, that's so it's, it's not all or nothing. That's why it's graded potential, because mm -hmm. it's post mm -hmm. Because it's axon. graded. Because the axon graded, yeah. yeah. It's graded. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, so, no, no, I, 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 so I, don't, I don't say that to try to... No, but it to, makes sense when you say it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, try to, I try to show you what they were trying to say when they made the names. Yeah. Because when the names were made for most things, um, they had a specific intent to help you understand its function. Yeah. And if you're able to understand why it's named that, then when someone says a graded potential, you're like, well, graded. it's graded. That's why it's called a graded, graded potential. potential. That's why it's an action potential, uh -huh. because action is like the domino effect. It just uh -huh. goes until it stops. There is, it, there is an action. So, yeah. Okay.